Hello everyone, I hope you're enjoying the game. I want to give you guys a detailed guide as well as a couple of tips for how to unlock the warrior and the sorcerer vocations. The quest itself is pretty straightforward. The first time you arrive at Vermont and you talk to the NPC at the vocation guild, he will tell you that unfortunately those two vocations are not available because they're missing the weapons. After that, he will tell you to go talk to the weapon NPC, this guy named Roderick, and he would just kind of generally point you to the direction where the goblins who stole the weapons are. After that, the quest gets updated. At this point, you can just go ahead and head over to that location, or if you want to do like I did, I also started another quest with this guy, one of the elves who is just standing right outside the weapons NPC and he wants to learn about human archery but he doesn't have a human bow. So all you have to do is either give him a bow that you have if you have one, if you unlock the archer and you just need to give him the basic bow or you can just buy a bow from the weapons NPC. Once you give it to him, a quest will update where he wants you to show him how to use it. Uh, the quest is called Gift of the Bow and the location is just north of the other quest. I'm gonna show you guys a map because at the center, you will see here, that's the location for the quest to unlock the vocations. But I actually found the sword and the staff in here, it's a little bit further to the right. It's not exactly where the icon is. So just keep that in mind. I kind of went up a little bit and I then ended up on the other side. Once you get there, you might encounter a dragon nearby. Uh, my suggestion, don't poke at the dragon. Just walk across the river from the dragon and don't mess with it. Now, once you get to this location, you know you're in the right place either from the map or by seeing these wooden houses and scaffoldings as well as goblins that will be outside. And that's where the entrance to the cave is. Once you go in, kill all the goblins, and then the first sword that you need is behind this door. Uh, now, this door, there's going to be a monster inside you can actually shoot, kill this monster from the outside. After you kill the monster, then you can shoot at the wooden bar that is uh, holding the door. There's a chest and then you will find the gray sword. If you keep going, you'll find another chest that will give you a kindred cape. As you keep going, you will find yourself exiting the cave. Now, the other item, once you exit, if you look up, you will see another entrance at the top. You have to go in there. There's going to be, you know, a few more enemies. Just keep going. And at the very end, there's going to be a chest that once you open it, you're gonna get the stuff. In between, you will be able to see this little space with some human bones. That wall at the very end with all rocks is destroyable. Now, I didn't know that, but one of my pawns knew it and blew it open. There's going to be another chest. So now basically this quest ends. All you have to do is take them back to the vendor, the NPC, and then he will just make those two vocations available. You can acquire them with the discipline points. If you want to continue, the elf quest, you can just head north. Like I just kept going. Just make sure that you start very light. You don't want to get too heavy. There wasn't much in between. And then you can meet this elf and showing him how to use the bow that will complete the quest. But it is not the last time that you will see this NPC. Now, another thing while you're here, go to those ruins that are at the back, go inside because there is going to be a chest. It will have a much better bow. 
uh, you may want to get this because it's a much better bow better than the bow you get in the deluxe edition so definitely worth it so what you have to do is go in go up you're gonna see a werewolf you don't have to engage the monster you can actually just keep going and that's where you're gonna find the chest with the bow the bow is called my fur after that you can just head your way back out or if you really want you can engage the werewolf it's not difficult i ended up fighting the werewolf you get a few things so it's cool after this you can either walk back or in my case i was getting already very heavy i ended up using a fairy stone so all right that is the guy i hope it was useful i hope i gave you a couple of tips here and there thank you all for watching enjoy the game have fun and i'll see you all in the next video